Hello guys, if you guys are squeamish and you don't want to see any gory pictures of animals being slaughtered, but if you have a heart, please continue on watching this video, warning it's kind of long. Dear meat eaters, now when I'm making this video as a vegan, I'm making this video not to attack you, not to make you feel bad, but at the same time, to more or less with a loving heart from a vegan point of view to your meat eaters point of view now um, but I want you to sit and think you know you want to sit and try to understand the vegan you want to understand us you want to understand why we seem so extreme well to let you know the majority of us we are not extreme crazy um, type people but we have a reason for picketing you know people who have fur and we have a reason for that type of thing you know what I mean so well the first point I want to go on is that you guys complain a lot about your guys' health but you guys are not willing to do anything about it you guys complain about heart palpitations and other stuff weight gain and all this other stuff but a lot of things about your health goes a lot towards what you're putting in your mouth. If you're putting in McDonald's or Carl's Jr. or if you're putting in meats and and other stuff, you don't realizing you put what you're putting inside your body. Um, it's not I'm not, not just talking about the whole animal cruelty type thing here. I'm talking about in general. If you look at the meat, it's got fat in it. A ton of fat in it even if you get it trimmed and all this other stuff but you're also getting the hormones that are placed inside that meat you may not even realize it when you're eating I'm just trying to make you guys more aware um, you know and you guys complain about your health but don't do anything about it we could tell you all day to your blue in the face and you guys can still just not listen and you guys will get sicker and sicker and sicker and sicker and only want to do anything about it when it's like too late and I don't want you to get to that point I want you guys to live I want you guys to thrive because I love you guys even though you guys are meat eaters now a lot of meat eaters I mean a lot of sorry a lot of vegans will try to make you feel ashamed for eating meat in a way you should in a way you should be wanting to change your lifestyle anyways okay and my second point is you guys say you love animals you say you love animals you love your cat, your dog, or your chicken, like your fish you love your monkey, whatever animal you happen to have a pet rattlesnake, rat, whatever but you say you love these animals but yet you continue to eat them. See, what's the difference between a chicken that you're eating in the grocery store or a cow and, a, and your cat? There's really no difference because you know you put the mindset in your mind that the cat is a pet, is a cherished friend and family member, but also a cow is still an animal. It's sentient being. Just like your cat is also a sentient being. And all life deserves some form of respect. And if you're going to go around and kill it and murder it so you can eat it, you're no different. And even though you're physically not there, you know, killing the cow, but you're buying these these products and stuff like that. And and then you guys go on wanting to donate to the ASPCAs for animal cruelty. But you guys are promoting it. By buying these products you guys are continuing on with the suffering and the murder and the rape of animals uh, for your milk and your dairy and your eggs and your chicken and and all this other stuff you know what I mean I mean you donate to the ASPCA but what good is your real dollars if you're still eating meat you're still promoting murder in different place what makes you think you're going to cover up your good deed by donating to the ASPCA with buying meat and he's going to buy murder and cover it up that doesn't really work well what do you think 
And I'm really not trying to attack you, but I want you guys to really take the time to think. Really, really, truly think. Um, the third point is the environment, mental impact. Okay, meat eaters can, you know, if you think about the environment impact. Uh, vegans actually use one eighteenth of the carbon emissions and environmental impact on the planet just by being vegan. Less water, less CO2, less carbon emissions, you know, less resources in general. And, uh, and our Earth is suffering quite a bit, you know. There's a lot of you guys who are environmentalists and you guys care about the planet. Meat eaters have care about the planet just as much as vegans. Okay? And you guys are beautiful people, you environmentalists. However, you're still eating meat. You're still adding to the carbon emissions to, to the earth, water waste, productivity with the with the with the products, you know, like like corn and and other type of things. And you're also helping to promote more CO2 and more resources, more waste, and all this other stuff. You know what I mean? Our Earth is really suffering. And if you guys are truly environmentalists, you try the vegan lifestyle. At least try it. And I'm speaking with you guys with so much love for you guys. Even though I don't understand you guys, really. Because you say you love the Earth, you love the planet. You love humanity and all mankind, but yet you're still promoting eating meat and not associating why that's making more of a bad impact for the environment by continuing eating meat products and dairy and all this other stuff. Now, number four, by buying these milk products, eggs, fish, and other animals, you're promoting slavery. For these animals and for you guys that say you love animals and you donate to the ASPCA you guys are pretty much exploiting animals to be raped I mean to be in constantly impregnated all the time so they could keep producing milk and then when they get pregnant if they have their babies ripped away from them and then those babies are killed for veal or they're, they're killed in general because they don't serve any purpose. They're basically put in grinders and murdered and um, tortured alive. You know what I mean? I mean, imagine you giving birth to your son or daughter in the hospital. I made this example before in one of my other videos, okay? Imagine you giving birth in the hospital and then your son or daughter being ripped away from you. And as soon as you get pregnant, as soon as you give birth to the baby, the baby's ripped away from you. And guess what? Your son or daughter is killed. And then you're still stuck, enslaved, inside the hospital bed, chained up pretty much, to continue to get pregnant and just lay there and just take it and get raped because they're going to be putting more sperm inside of you to get pregnant again so you can repeat the process so they keep you milk and flowing so they keep pumping your breast for milk constantly that's not a life that's slavery that's rape that's murder that's exploit that's exploitation every animal every sense of being human animal bug um, everything is has a desire to live and has a desire to be in existence now you buying these type of things you're promoting their death you're promoting for them to constantly be killed and used and stuff and not only are they giving um keeping these these animals pregnant all the time they're also getting them hormones to make them bigger fatter um they're making a more juicier type you know more you know and it's going into the meat, it's going into the dairy, it's going into all the things, and you guys are eating it. You guys are eating the hormones that are stuck inside the skin, inside the fats, inside the marbling of the meat. You guys are promoting your own death, your own future impending, quick, painful, cancer-like 
death. And I don't want that for you guys. I want you all to live. You guys are so important. Every being is important. Meat eater or not, you're all important. You guys are truly, truly important. And I want you all to live a very happy, fruitful, painless life. I don't want you to become, you know, encaged or enslaved to the cancer regime like my husband did. I don't want you all to feel that pain of losing your loved one in a way that I had to. And um, I want you guys to thrive. Even if you guys don't like me, I want you all to thrive. Because every life deserves to live. Every sentient life deserves that. Now five. Vegan food has had a bad rap. <laughs> Vegan food is quite yummy. At one time, <laughs> okay, a couple of times in my life as, as a vegan, I've been vegan for a little over two years, I used to think vegan food sucked. Alright? But I didn't only put forth the effort to try it. So, I'm a mom, so I had to practice what I preach. So, guess what? I'm trying foods I don't like, like I make my son do. And, uh... And I'm practicing what I'm preaching regarding my vegan lifestyle. I'm trying things I don't like. I don't like black beans. I don't like artichoke. I don't like curry. I don't like cumin. I don't like tofu. I, there's some other stuff I can name off, but I don't really care for. But I'm trying a different combination of different ways to see if I like them. Now, you know, and also vegan, vegan food is quite delicious. It's very satiating. Um... So if you type the word, any type of recipe, on the net, anything, and you put the word vegan on the end, guess what? You can find a vegan, very yummy version of that. Um, not every recipe for that exact same thing may be as good as the other one. So you have to try different recipes for the same exact thing. Like a, this lasagna may be sucky in comparison to this lasagna, this vegan lasagna. So you have to try them out, okay? It's all about trial and error. You know, without risk there isn't a life, right? You know what I mean? So, um, uh, also vegans, we don't, oh, us vegans, we don't always eat salad, you meat eaters. We don't always eat, eat rabbit food. <laughs> I love how you guys think that though. I think it's kind of funny. Um, yeah, we eat a lot of raw fruits, a lot of raw vegetables and stuff, and, but there's times when we, we vegans, we, we still need a hot meal. Like when it gets winter time, we want soups, we, we want hot baked, like, we, we miss macaroni and cheese. Believe me, believe me, I miss macaroni and cheese, but we're learning ways to make it would be a plant-based, very good products, and it's wholesome. On a vegan lifestyle, meat eaters... Uh, we we feel complete inside. Um, not only because we're saving, feel like we're saving the planet, we're saving the earth, we're we're saving animals, we're reducing our carbon emissions, we're being more environmentally friendly. Um, we just feel more complete because the way a vegan lifestyle makes us feel on the inside, because of how clean we are on the inside. So. Um, so also, also if you can't find a recipe for, I don't know, or a recipe you like um, for a particular food that you want to try, let it challenge you to make something more than make something vegan that's up to your taste. Like, for instance, every macaroni and cheese recipe I come across on the internet is bad. Okay? So I'm constantly, since for the past two years, <laughs> I've been working on trying to make a plant-based macaroni and cheese that represents looks and feels very closely to the real thing with the real cheese and the real milk and stuff. So, and there are plant-based alternatives for your guys' butters and your milks and, and there's also plant-based and they're lower in fat and you can eat a crap ton more of it and you save money okay now point 
five or six. Yeah, I'm on six. I think I'm on six. No vegans. We're as vegans are not really, really, really hungry because we're always satiated. We always feel satisfied on a vegan lifestyle, and I'll tell you why. Okay. You know, like the food chain. I guess you want to call it the food chain with you, with you uh, meat eaters. Okay. The animals eat the grass. The grass is, you know, the most nutrient dense for them, and they eat the grass, and it goes through them, and then you guys eat it, right? So it's like animal eat grass human eat animal type thing. Well, as every time the nutrients pass through the animal, each each step, the the amount of nutrients get lost. You don't really get nutrients from, from meat. So you get them directly from the source, from the actual plant itself. And, and because you're getting the nutrients from the direct source, you're getting the maximum amount of nutrients, vitamins, um, fiber, water content, um, and your body responds pleasantly to that type of thing. But as a meat eater diet, your your the food, your your meat actually gets stuck in the grooves in the in the intestines, and it actually rots there. It rots inside, and cancer can grow into that. Um, diseases, E. coli. Um, you name everything nasty can grow inside the grooves. Yes, even vegans can get plant-based stuff stuck inside the grooves of our intestines. However, plant plants uh, actually digest within a maximum of 24 hours. Our meat is three days to seven days. So imagine three to seven days of constantly getting bloating, gas, hurting, etc., etc., etc. Plus, you don't really get all the nutrients from the meat. You claim you get protein, but you don't really get protein from that. You get more protein and nutrients, and, and they're also less fat, mind you. And pleasant for the heart, pleasant for the body. You lose weight naturally. And, um, you know, you just end up feeling a whole lot better. You're not as bloated, you're not in pain. Um, and it's really yummy. <laughs> yeah, coming from a vegan who used to think all vegan food sucked, okay? So, um, we're also very satiated. We feel very satisfied. We're not craving other things. We're not craving McDonald's. We're not craving chips and sodas. And, and we're not craving all that stuff. Yeah, you know, some things like soda can be vegan, but we're not really craving it. It doesn't. Because we're so satisfied that our body's not looking for more nutrients. On your guys' lifestyle, you guys crave chips and potatoes and, and all these other weird, you know, things. Because your body's not getting it on a meat eater diet. And I'm speaking to you with so much love in my heart. With so much tenderness, as much as it can get, you know. I'm probably going to be one of the sweetest vegans you're going to get to know and uh, I mean I want you guys to just to think just think think okay you guys are so smart and I wish you would just think and take charge of your what you're putting in your mouth and how you think about what you're buying what you're putting your 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 yeah what you're putting your money to your hard-earned money into and uh, now vegans we do number seven is that we do get all of our vitamins and nutrients on a vegan lifestyle now I have iron deficiency anemia okay I lack in iron okay and for quite some time I was very very sick in the very beginning when I first started this lifestyle and it was because I was detoxing and on top of it, um, um, I was I was bleeding. I was hemorrhaging out of my uterus all the time, and I needed. I my doctor wanted me to have blood transfusions. She wanted me to have iron transfusions, and I refused them all. I was at, I'm at high risk for cancer even now, but I'm even lower now because I'm a vegan. So I mean. Um, my anemia has improved. I'm no longer hemorrhaging. 
I don't even take the iron supplements my doctor has given me because I get enough iron on my my vegan lifestyle and I'm absorbing a majority of it. However, on a non-vegan lifestyle, you don't really absorb a lot because you've got the fats covering the grooves from absorbing inside your intestines. However, on a vegan lifestyle, we have less fats and less oils in our system, so we're able to absorb more nutrients into our bodies. That's for making us healthier and, and more energetic than, than non-vegans. Now, um... Also, another thing about my anemia is that my hair was thinning, my nails are breaking, and I don't eat gelatin and stuff like that like you all do. There's a supplement, we could, there's a thing you can take or eat in your diet called pectin. It's, it's similar to gelatin, but it's plant-based. It's based on um, orange peels. Okay, that's how it's made. And I don't know if you can see, but these are my nails. My nails will constantly break all the time my hair was actually thinning at one time and my hair was constantly breaking and as you can tell my hair my hair is growing like a mad woman and it's based upon a non meat non dairy, non-torture, non-murder, non-rape, expo non-exploitation lifestyle. Now, um, another thing is that helped me out was my arthritis. I was born with arthritis. I know, how can that happen, right? How can it be a baby be born with arthritis? But I was. And I still get it. Don't get me wrong. Just because you're a vegan, or you know of a vegan, or if you go vegan, that your symptoms are going to magically go boop, go bye-bye. No, they're not always going to go bye-bye. They may be going severely reduced. Like if you have if you have stomach issues, you may have your issues, but they're going to be a lot lessened. They'll be more manageable. Like with my arthritis, for instance. I have arthritis. I don't know if you can tell my knuckles. Um... I feel the weather before you all do. Plus I got two hurt rotator cuffs both on each side. Plus I used to play baseball so I have two freaking fricked up knees. Okay. And uh, my right wrist. Alright. And actually no both wrists because I'm ambidextrous. Because <laughs> I used to play baseball. I used to play soccer. I used to play football. I used to play a whole bunch of sports because I was a tomboy. So, when you think about this, is your symptoms are not going to go away entirely. Some might. Some might. But they're not always, but they're going to be lessened. Once you want to, as a meat eater, to have your symptoms reduced naturally without putting more pills and chemicals inside your body, I mean, that's just a question I, I have for you guys. I mean, and this vegan lifestyle will help you out with that. It won't be the cure-all, okay? I'm not going to lie to you. It's, oh, it will be the cure-all. It's not the cure-all. It will be helping you oh, quite a bit, though. I'm talking from personal experience. Now, number eight. Now, this is going to be addressing the women, but it can be addressing the men, too. Because it affects us women. Now, women, we tend to get cramps and bloating and moodiness and mood swings and stuff like that. Now, well, if you go vegan, we have less of that. We have less of the mood swings. We have less of the cramps, less of the bloating, less of the mood swings, less of the craziness. Less of it. I'm not saying it goes away, okay? Or women. <laughs> but it would possibly save a lot of you men. All right, in our mood swings, um, from going zero to bitch in less than I don't know, ten picoseconds. <laughs> um, also, um, number nine. Uh, actually, no, we'll go back to number eight about the whole PMS stuff. Um, when you eat these uh, products that have the hormones in it. 
it causes our breasts to bloat up and get bigger. At one time, my, my boobs were a lot bigger than, than they are now. And yes, my boobs have shrunk a little bit since I've been vegan. And it's actually done me more good than it has done me bad. Because I had a benign tumor in my left breast before I went vegan. And now, because I went vegan, my doctors can't even feel it no more. They cannot feel my benign tumor right here. I would show you, but I don't want to show my titties on TV or video. Um, that's for my boyfriend <laughs> to see. But, um, um, but basically, we're less bloated, so our boobs get less bloated during the PMS process. Less pain, the better, right? The, the better our moods, right? And it also helps with the ankle swellings, and it helps with arthritis, hello, the swelling, you know, in any joint. So, I mean, it helps with our overall mood. So, I mean, you men, you want your women to be in a better mood? Women, you sick and tired of going crazy and going to hell in two seconds? Try with being vegan. Number nine, better skin. Okay, guys, I'm a true testament to this. My skin, my face, especially my face. You see my older videos from back in 2014 when I first started this lifestyle, even before I started. I started on February 14, 2014. I started Valentine's Day, the day of love for myself, really. And uh, um, I don't know if you noticed, but my face is a lot clearer. And it's been, I don't use anything special on my skin. But my face is less swollen and less red. I used to get major rashes all over my face. I mean, it looked like someone rug burned my face and my face swollen up in patches all over my face. It looked like I got burnt too on top of it. It's gnarly. And uh, one thing that it helped me out was that um, uh, it, it was less chemicals in my system, you know, less reaction. And um, my skin became clearer. And I'm st still a work in progress. Just because you go vegan doesn't mean in like two or three years you're going to have a perfect skin. Okay. Also, um, uh, I mean, you meat eaters, you kind of have a lot of breakouts, you know, big pimples everywhere and stuff like that. And I mean, if you go vegan, that will help you out alone because what you're putting in your diet eventually comes out through your skin. And your skin is the largest organ in your entire body. It's the most, one of the most regenerative ones at that. It regenerates every seven years. But also, what you're putting into your body comes right throughout to the skin. So if you have a lot of oils, eat a lot of fats, it comes through your skin and you're breaking out. On top of that, it, that, that dirt, that oil gets, tra gets dirt from the environment into the skin, clogging your pores, making more zits and stuff. This has actually helped reduce that, not completely eliminate it, but it has completely reduced that. And I would really hope that you guys would try this lifestyle to also help you out with your skin. Also, it helps with the hydration of your skin as well. See, I don't know if you guys know, but um, I've taken a few tests and um, my vision has actually gotten better. I've been in these same prescription glasses for three years. Um, I got these prescriptions before I went vegan and I went back to the eye doctor and the doctor says that I have the same prescription and because I eat a lot of vitamin A with carrots and stuff like that then I my vision is overall improved as well even though I still wear glasses you know I still wear glasses it's just how it's gonna be for the rest of my life but my vision has gotten better my focus has gotten better and my skin has gotten better and I've taken another test for my age um, people say I look like I'm 19. I have people thinking that my son is my little brother. Yes. And all throughout my life, when my daughter was still alive, they used to think that my daughter <laughs> was my mother. <laughs> Sorry, I need it to your memory. But, um, but 
being on a vegan lifestyle, you end up looking a bit younger because you're getting the nutrients your, your body needs, plus it's coming out through your skin. And you're getting the, um, the collagen and stuff like that that your body naturally builds up. So, Also, number 10, being aware of the chemicals that you're placing inside your body. Okay, the, the, the meat, when they inject the mothers to stay pregnant, they inject them with more meat. More, more meat. Oh, Lordy, have mercy. Sorry, guys. I'm going to include this blooper right on it. When they inject the animals to make them fatter with the chemicals and stuff like that, you're, you're eating that inside the tissues of, of them, okay? If you think about your body, people injecting you with chemicals to make you bigger and fatter and plumper, and then they eat you. And then they end up inadvertently you know, eating that because it's saturated inside the tissues, inside the muscles, inside the meat, inside the sinew, inside the bones, etc., including inside your marrow, you know, because that's where your blood usually regenerates is in the marrow and as well as the spleen. So, I mean, you're constantly being injected with this, you're not passing this out, okay? And when your skin starts to clear, you start clearing some of that that those chemicals out through your skin and uh, also you have less allergies when you go vegan a lot of you guys are allergy sufferers you guys take things like Allegra you guys take things like um, anti-allergy medication anti-depression medicines um, you need less of that and my daughter when she was alive was a testament to that my daughter uh, she suffered with anxiety and depression and she started going on a vegan lifestyle and she actually after a month of eliminating all that out of her diet she stopped taking her anti-depression medication and her anti-anxiety medicine and in fact she became a head chef before she passed away and she was using my vegan recipes inside that restaurant she would call me up on the phone, hey mom, can you give me this, can you give me this recipe? So I would have her write it down over the phone and she would use it and it was a success over at that restaurant she worked at as head chef. And um, they were all vegan based and you couldn't really tell on a lot of them because they looked like a chicken product or they looked like this or they looked like that. You know, so, and they were quite satisfied and quite satiating where they actually, oh, I think that, I think her, no, 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 that was someone else. I used my recipe for that. Um, then, you know, so, I mean, you're less, you, you're, you're, you need less dependency on your anti-medic, on your medications and stuff or your anxiety and stuff. I'm not saying get rid of them. I'm not saying that at all because some of you guys may have a real medical issue and but the lifestyle the vegan lifestyle may end up helping you with that and I really would like for you guys to live longer to live more fulfilled loving quality good quality lives I want you all to be happy I want you all to be satisfied I want you all to be very content in your guys' life and I don't think you guys eating meat would be a high quality lifestyle for you guys and uh, it makes me very sad because I see you guys really, really, really wanting to change your lifestyle, but you feel threatened by vegans in general. And I'm trying to like lovingly show you, you know, that vegan lifestyle is really wonderful more than you think. And it has a lot of benefits to your health and your mental clarity. Also, speaking about mental clarity, I'll talk about mine. When I first started, I was crazy brain, okay? Um, that's what I call it. I was depressed, I was angry, easily angered. Um, I still get pissed off, don't get me wrong. I still get pissed off, and but at the same time, I don't go through tangents, and my mind's not racing. And, and uh, it's helped with my insomnia. I still get it, insomnia from time to time. That's just how it goes. But it's gotten a lot more manageable. My crazy brainness has gotten more manageable. And um, I'm overall more happier than I have been in a very long time. Even despite of me losing my daughter and, and all the other stuff that's going on right now in my life. I'm still overall clearer minded 
because I know what I've got to do and I um, don't feel like I'm crazy anymore. So I don't have all these crazy thoughts on top of the stuff that's going on. You know what I mean? So, I mean, try this vegan lifestyle, everybody. Just try it. Now, on number 10, now, you don't need to calorie restrict on this lifestyle. A lot of you guys all oh, say I'm eating 1,500 calories or you're eating 2,000 calories. That's still not enough. Think about what I spoke about earlier about the nutrients. When the cow eats the grass, you eat the cow. You're not really getting all the nutrients because the, all the nutrients is in the grass, is in the plant. You know what I'm saying? So I mean, but you're getting all this fat from the from the from, and the hormones from this cow and the murder and the torture and the rape and the exploitation and the the slavery that's going along behind it but if you don't have if you take out the cow out of the equation you don't have the fat you don't have the torture you don't have the rape you don't have the slavery you don't have the exploitation you don't have all that type of stuff you just have just the plant and you can eat as much of it as you want because guess what it's got less fat in it and not only are you getting all the nutrients, the direct nutrients from the direct source, and you're feeling more satiated, more satisfied, more complete, more whole, and you end up eating more than you realize, and you end up losing more weight because, I mean, I don't know if you saw my, my last set of videos. Um, my videos in the past where I was much larger, I had a belly and a gut, but actually when I was crying over the ex. J Rob or whatever his name is. Um, I was fat. I mean, I was gonna say that. I was I was big. I was 167 pounds in that. No, I was 155 pounds in that video, and that wasn't even my biggest. I was 167 when I got to my largest. And um, I'm 106. Here, I'll just kind of. I mean, I've kept it off. You know. My bra. <laughs> you guys can see my bra. Oh well. But um, you don't need a calorie strict because you're getting all those nutrients. And then not only that, you're getting. Yeah, you gotta eat a little bit more to get the calories because some things you're eating, like lettuce, don't have much calories. You're gonna have to eat other things. Do you know what I mean? So you're getting all different types of foods, and you're getting more nutrients from each different ones because celery may have you know, nutrient A, and then broccoli may have nutrient B, and etc. You know, and eventually you're going to get all of them in your lifestyle, inside your, in your diet, and you're going to feel even healthier over time, because your body's being saturated as the more and more you eat these types of things for your own health. And, uh, just like you would be eating a whole bunch of hormones from the cows, you're eating a whole bunch of really good, high-quality uh, nutrients in your body from the fruits and vegetables and and the and the vegan food that you're ending up eating instead of eating cows and all that stuff and murder and rape you're eating murder and rape because what you're basically doing so um huh. number 12 it's cheaper to eat on a vegan lifestyle I mean when you go to the grocery store, you're paying uh, 99 cents a pound for chicken, or and how many pounds of it does an American family eat? They don't usually eat the recommended amount, which is four ounces. They eat a full pound, or they eat four servings in one sitting. So they're not eating just, I don't know, 100 grams of fat, they eating 400 grams of fat. You know, I'm, I'm giving just random numbers. I have no idea what the real numbers are about that. But basically, you're eating four times the chemicals, you're eating four times the amount of fat, eating four times the amount of murder, rape, exploitation, um, slavery, uh, murder. You know, I, I think I mentioned that a billion times, right? You know, so guess what? And you're eating, all you have to eat four times the amount, or even ten times the amount to get the same amount of nutrients as a vegan lifestyle. So you wonder why people, you're getting bigger and bigger and bigger because you're having to eat more and more of the non-vegan product to get the similar amount of, of nutrients that your body feels it needs still in order for it to be satiated. But you're also promoting the rape and murder and exploitation and slavery 
of animals unnecessarily and um, it's just something for you guys to think about you know you guys don't understand how much love I'm putting into this I'm not trying to like personally attack you I'm just trying to get you guys to think about what you guys are paying your heart and money into you know I'm trying to get you guys to think about your health trying to think about the environment trying to think about your family your future I mean do you want your family to see you dying and suffering of cancer do you guys want that I mean nobody wants to die horribly like that my late husband he died of cancer in 2008 and he suffered especially towards the end and um, I really don't wish this on my worst enemy I don't care how much you guys hate me I don't care how much you guys troll me you guys don't deserve this you guys don't deserve to see anybody go through this and um, I just hope and pray that you guys will end up choosing this vegan lifestyle Thank you very much for watching, and I'm not sorry for the length of this video, but I'm telling you this from the bottom of my heart, please try a vegan lifestyle.